It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And welcome to day 24. It's Christmas Eve, the last day of the LBS Advent calendar. And on day 24, Sarah, what do we have? Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof. Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof. Yes, Merry Christmas to Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in at 128.3 proof. Mm -hmm. um, I guess we should explain that because... How <laughs> to explain that remark? There's a rival rivalry mm -hmm. between Kentucky and Tennessee in football and basketball. basketball so there's a sports rivalry mm -hmm. and then there's the kentucky straight bourbon whiskey versus tennessee, tennessee whiskey rivalry not everyone is involved in that rivalry right just the same as in sports yeah but it's a it's a thing it's and a thing. us being born and bred kentuckians mm -hmm. um you know well obviously it's clear what side we're on sure of that debate however let us go on record as saying that we have done Tennessee whiskeys before. Yes, we have. And we've enjoyed them. We went down to the uh, Southern Whiskey Society mm -hmm. in, Franklin, in Tennessee. Franklin, Tennessee, and tried lots of Tennessee whiskeys and bourbons. Had a great time. Had a great time. Love enjoyed it. it. We have no problem with the state of Tennessee. No. I just want to put that out there. We have no problem with the state. <laughs> no. And it's hotly debated whether or not Jack Daniels could technically be considered a bourbon. Now, rumor has it they don't want to be considered a bourbon because, oh, like, Tennessee whiskey is their brand. That's no rumor. They do not want to be called bourbon. They want to differentiate themselves from the pack. Which is totally fine. Yeah. And they, they put their stuff through the Lincoln County process, which is feed upon feed of tightly packed maple charcoal chips, if I'm mm -hmm. remembering correctly, that, you know, is to is to mellow the, the thing. The whole argument, without getting into it, <laughs> is some people say you're not uh, you're not adding to the flavor it's a filtering process mm -hmm. which all bourbon is to some degree filtered Filtering. so it's not changing the taste others mm -hmm. say it completely changes the taste it mellows yeah. it out um but since charcoal is a filtering agent but maple but maple and the i don't know it it's hotly debated we're not getting into that in, in no. this Let's but not that's ahead. kind of the whole yes. thing and we've always tried to keep an open mind uh sure on but this anything. has been a product which we've never warmed up to not this one. We've never had. We've uh, never had this. We've had a single barrel before, I believe. We have. And we've had, you know, regular on the shelf. Oh, Jack that's Daniels. right. At the uh, New Orleans Bourbon you. Festival, she brought me two things that I knew neither of which were, and she said, "One of these you're gonna like. The other one, I don't know." Yep. And one of them was 1920, mm -hmm. which I was like, Old Forester 1920. This one's great." And she was like, "What do you think about this one?" I was like, "I don't like this one." And it was. It was a Jack Daniel's single, single barrel. barrel. However, I wanted to get his unbiased opinion it, yeah. on it, and he still felt the same. Yeah. So, but this is a different one. Yes. This again, 128.3 proof. Which we think could help it. I mean, the color's great on it. And we're like, just trying to be gorgeous. as transparent as we possibly can, but because you know. we know we're gonna get some comments down below about, oh, they're they're biased. How can you ask two Kentuckians to review Jack Daniels? Da, da, da. We just gave you our background. So. Yeah, we just put it all out there on the table. We're gonna try to remain completely unbiased as we possibly can. That's right. Enough about all that. I already gave it a compliment. I think the color is gorgeous. It is a great color. It's beautiful. It is. It's like this, almost like a red. Yeah. But it's not. Yeah. Oh, that's really pretty. A little it's bit like more, a rust um, color or something. Yeah, a little bit more background on Jack Daniels. It's owned by Brown Foreman, which also owns Old Forester and um, Woodford. Woodford Reserve. Mm -hmm. So it's a big company. It has a nice nose. It does. Although there's a little, see, now this is where I just feel like people are going to be like, he's trying to find something. There's a little tinge. I get a, like a <sighs> tiny bit of banana. Yeah, of almost like too ripe banana. But I think that aside, it has a really rich but mellow flavor. Or no, nose flavor, <laughs> nose. whatever. Nose, yeah, smell. smell. Yeah, no, I smell, you know, um, the typical caramel and uh, yeah, nice, some wood notes. A nice caramel and, and some toasted oak. Mm-hmm. Maybe just a hint of spice. No. A kiss. All right. Well, here Let's... we go. Merry Christmas Eve to everyone. Merry Christmas. <laughs> he got excited. Ooh. Ooh. It's hot. It is hot. I do still get that banana on, yeah. the, on the palate. I will go ahead and say this is the best Jack Daniels I've ever had. Agreed. But man. Oh, it's got a creeping heat on the tongue. It does have a creeping heat. If you gave this to me blind, I wouldn't know that it was no, Jack Daniels. Same. So. Same. same. A very strong banana note. A um, lot of banana. Very ripe banana. Yeah. Like 
I'm getting the image of a mushy, mushy banana. banana. Outside of the mushy <clears throat> banana, I think it's got a lot of great qualities. Yeah. Um, I respect what it's going for. Yeah, it has, it's got a good finish. Once, the, once that heat kinda, well, the banana is still kinda getting in the way. It is a lot. Um, oh, but there's, there's a moment where, have you gone back for your second tip? No, I'm trying to see okay. how long the finish is. Because it's, it's, still, it's still going. There's a moment where the banana becomes almost, um, like we've talked about this before, but like flambe, flambe. like yeah. a, like a banana's foster. Yeah. Except if you made a banana's foster with like Splenda or Stevia instead. Uh, it tastes like someone robbed it of the real sweetness and put an artificial sweetener in there. A little bit artificial. Um, so like I really like, it's like when you get that sugar substitute, you're like, oh, this is really good for not real sugar, but like I kind of want it to not taste diet. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> to give me the real sugar. Right. Um, well, okay, the finish is done. I would call it definitely a it's medium a, to longish finish. Medium to long, yeah. yeah. And you'd expect that with the proof. Um, yes. Um, so here's sip number two for me. I wanna see what you think on your second sip. I will say it's got a nice mouthfeel, you know. It, it, it is nice. It pours over the tongue. And, it's real uh, silky. Reaches all the all the spots. Mm. Second sip, better than the first. I'm not getting that overwhelming mushy banana feel. No. That's where I felt like it really turned into something to else. To more of the flambe. It, yeah, yeah, it transformed a bit. Because you're getting more of the barrel on the second one, mm -hmm. and that's helping. But man, it does have like like a red hot, it's like I, my tongue really? is a little bit in the front. It's just a little bit too on fire. That's interesting. Well, maybe it's because, so last night, we were at the OBC Kitchen in Lexington. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever want to find us. <laughs> yeah, uh, that'd be the first place to look. And uh, one of my buddies got uh, a flight that they had, and one of them was the 139.8 uh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the old bottles, hazmat. the one they call uh, Hazmat, I believe. And um, I had a couple sips of it, and I just couldn't believe how smooth it was for 139.8 mm -hmm. proof. It was so smooth. It drank like it was 115. I mean, it still had the kick that you want. Right. But it was just so easy, and it never gave you a tongue punch. Never it was a tongue aggressive. cradle. <laughs> and so I guess just having that just last night at 139.8 and this one today at 128.3, this is like a lot more fire. Hmm. So I'm not loving that about it. No? I would not turn down a pour of this. I'm trying to figure out where to put this on the scale of how I feel about it. I would not turn down a pour. It is not my least favorite thing that we've had on this calendar. It's probably somewhere in the middle to upper end of the, my favorite things that we've had on this calendar. Yeah. Which is interesting to say. I don't... Sure. I didn't so, expect to feel this way. Sure. I'll, I'll echo your sentiments. Um, I wouldn't turn this down. It is also in the middle to middle upper part of what I liked in this calendar. I mm -hmm. have liked other things more, more than this. More, yeah. Um, well, it's hard the, to be a rare breed in Booker's. <laughs> sure. Or Elijah Craig. Right. Um, or McKenna. McKenna. <laughs> Heaven help Bob David and Bond. Nicholson David Nicholson Reserve. I mean, yeah. it falls somewhere in the middle to upper, like you said. Yeah. So it's good, it's good. It's not my favorite finish. Um, I think it's just kind of missing some of the notes that I typically gravitate towards, but yeah. that's just personal preference. Um, to me, it tastes like a bourbon. Outside of the banana, I'm really enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if that banana like, note was, a lot. you know, just toned down a lot. Mix um, it in different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, just redo that beat. The order of priorities. If <laughs> yeah. it was lower in the priority set, I think it would um, be more of a home run for us. Yeah. Like, I'm actually really surprised by how much I liked it. I mean, I was trying to keep an open mind, but there's always this little thing in the back of your head where you sort of guess, am I gonna like it or not? Well, I haven't liked this version of it, I haven't right. liked this version of it, so, therefore I'm not gonna like this version. Yeah. But, you know, that... History tells us, but... Yeah, totally. So this is um, on the higher end, so we are gonna add some water to it. All right, so we just added five drops of water. We're gonna give this some time for it to kind of mingle in. Mm -hmm. And while we do that, we just wanted to uh, tell you if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for joining us. If you like what we're uh, bringing here for you, you can hit that subscribe button, or you can give us a thumbs up, or you can leave us a comment or question down below. We love all three. You could do all three if you like. I uh, also wanna make sure you know about our presence on the interwebs besides right here. That's whiskeyambitions.com. That's where you can find our merch, our glassware, and other bourbon and whiskey inspired merch. <laughs> More stuff coming all the time, so don't just go once. That's right. Check Revisit. back. Check back often, especially in 2019. Check in on us. Make sure we're still alive. Exactly. Um, you can become a patron and join our conversation in our community. It's patreon.com slash it's bourbon night. And 
anywhere from one buck a month or sometimes we do public posts if you want if you're not sure if you want to check in on that too yeah if you're not sure you want to commit yet go check in on that but exactly. uh, hang out with us there and then you can shop on our amazon influencer page it's amazon influencer dot Nope. Well, that's not it. <laughs> Amazon.com slash shop slash it's bourbon night. There you go. And find yourself a nice little treat because you earned it. Yeah. And lastly, you can follow us on all the social medias at it's bourbon night. See, we say that every time we sign off an episode. So you'd think by the hundredth time I would remember, but nope. 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 Not always. So we're going to give this another 10 minutes or so. So we will be back after this. And we're back. We've let this sit here. Let's see what it's done to the news. The news. The news. More banana. More, more banana. More, and, um, more fruit, more floral. Definitely more fruit on the nose now. I like the nose less now. Agreed. Okay. Now let's see about the taste. That made it rough. Oh man. Whoa. I get that heat that you're talking about now. Woo. It made it worse. Like the, the level of heat and it brought forward this interesting flavor. Like a candied fruit. Yeah. It was hiding before. Now it's like, hello. And I don't like it. <laughs> Yeah, and now the heat is more like in your gums. Uh, it's just like <laughs> attacking. And that's um, just a couple of drops of water. Five drops. Also hurts the uh, the longer finish. Mm. And the uh, mouth feels not as good. Mm. It's a little. It's a lot more aggressive. Yeah, aggressive. So if you're having this, uh, our recommendation would be without the water. Yep. Um, but you have it however you like. Yeah. Because there is no wrong way. It's your world. We're just living. It's your it. world. That's right. Um, without really knowing. The price of this, it's its hard to give it a recommend or not, so, because, you know, this was just a sample and we don't have the bottle or, mm -hmm. um, we'll leave that part out as far as a recommend or not, but overall, um, I think it's falling, like we said, middle to upper middle of the calendar for mm -hmm. us. Definitely the best Jack Daniels experience that we've had before. That's right. So. And I'm glad to have had it. Absolutely. You know, I always want to like something. I don't like being a negative Nancy. Right. Yeah. No, no. no one wants a Debbie Downer. It's better to, you know, look on the bright side of life. Sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're a Jack Daniels fan, odds are you're going to like this. So I would probably recommend it to you. But as always, we always tell you to look for it in a bar first because it always just makes you feel a little bit better to... Uh... Actually, I don't know if they would like it. Because if they like the taste that we're not crazy about, and this one's more towards yeah. the taste that we like, maybe, maybe they, they might won't not like, like it. it. So then just... Try you should definitely try it at a bar first, yeah. Yeah, don't take our word for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. You do you. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I guess that will do it for us <gasps> and do it for this advent calendar. Yeah, I guess we gotta go open some Christmas presents. Yeah. We just want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holidays, no matter what you celebrate or observe. I uh, just hope you have a great time with your family and friends this holiday season. Mm -hmm. We appreciate the heck out of you guys. So yeah. thanks um, for hanging out with us all year. Yeah, have a have a great and happy holiday, and uh, best to you and yours. Yep. Yeah. Be care be careful out there. Yeah, be careful. I mean, be it safe. sounded very ominous, but yeah, just be, be safe. Careful we love you out we, there. We want you guys <laughs> to watch the next one. Mm. So yes. All right. There you go. Well, cool. Um, thanks again, guys, so much. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. And until next time, we'll see you guys in 2019. Drink more bourbon. Uber is your friend. Call Uber during these holiday parties. Uber, Lyft, we have no... Not brought to you in part by Uber. Yeah, no, <laughs> no association. No. Twenty fourth. Baby eight with a Santa eight. hat. Woo! Hey, Chad, is BB hungry? No, BB eight. <laughs> Merry Christmas.